Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vanni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture on solution and discussion on UPSC Engineering Service Examination question paper. This is lecture number 11. We take few questions from the topic heat conduction and we will discuss the solution. First question, a plane wall is 20 cm thick with an area perpendicular to the heat flow is 1 meter square as a thermal conductivity of 0 0.5 watts per meter Kelvin. A temperature difference of 100 degrees Celsius is imposed across it. The rate of heat flow is 0 0.1 kilowatt, 0 0.15 kilowatt, 0 0.20 kilowatt, 0 0.25 kilowatt. The answer to the question, the heat flow, rate of heat flow Q equal to Ka T1 minus T2 divided by L. Substitute numerical value is 0 0.5 into 1 into 100 divided by 0 0.2 equal to 250 watts, which is 0 0.25 kilowatt. The answer is 0 0.25 kilowatt. Next question, determine the heat transfer through a plane wall of length 4 meter, height 3 meter and thickness 0 0.2 meter. The temperature of the inner and the outer surfaces are 150 degrees Celsius and 90 degrees Celsius respectively. The thermal conductivity of the wall is 0 0.5 watts per meter Kelvin. So, the answers, there are four options, 1800 watts, 2000 watts, 2200 watts, 2400 watts. We will find the answer. So, heat transfer Q equal to Ka into T1 minus T2 divided by L, substitute numerical values 0 0.5 into 4 into 3. 4 into 3 is the area perpendicular to heat transfer. Temperature difference 150 minus 90 divided by 0 0.2 equal to 1800 watts. The correct answer is 1800 watts. The next question, a plane wall is 20 centimeter thick with an area of 1 meter square has a thermal conductivity of 0 0.5 watts per meter Kelvin. The temperature difference is 100 degrees Celsius imposed across it. The heat flow is 150 watts, 180 watts. 220 watts and 250 watts. The answer to the question, so heat transfer Q equal to Ka into T1 minus T2 divided by L, 0 0.5 into 1 into 100 divided by 0 0.2 equal to 250 watts. The answer is 250 watts. The next question, a furnace is provided with an insulating refractory lining. The overall thermal conductivity of the material is 0 0.03 watts per meter Kelvin. The thickness of the lining is 100 millimeter. The inner and the outer temperatures are 250 degree Celsius and 50 degree Celsius respectively. The heat loss to the surrounding will be 30 joules per meter square per second, 60 joules per meter square per second, 60 joules per second and 30 joules per second. So the answer to the question, heat loss to the surrounding Q equal to K into T1 minus T2 divided by L. 0 0.03 is a thermal conductivity, temperature difference is 250 minus 50 divided by L thickness equal to 100 millimeter which is 0 0.1 meter. So, calculating 60 watts per meter square which is 60 joules per meter square per second. So, the answer is option B 60 joules per meter square per second. Next question, a wall surface of 200 millimeter thickness has an outside temperature of 50 degrees Celsius and the inside temperature of 25 degrees Celsius with a the thermal conductivity of 0 0.51 watts per meter Kelvin. The heat transfer through this wall will be 63.75 watts per meter square, 65.75 watts per meter square, 70.25 watts per meter square, 73.25 watts per meter square. The answer to the question, the heat transfer through the wall Q equal to per unit area Q equal to K into T1 minus T2 divided by L, 0 0.51 into 50 minus 25 divided by 0 0.2 equal to 63.75 watts per meter square. The answer is option A, 63.75 watts per meter square. The next question, in a furnace, the heat loss through the 150 millimeter thick refractory wall lining is estimated to be 50 watts per meter square. If the average thermal conductivity of the refractory material is 0 0.05 watts per meter Kelvin, the temperature drop across the wall will be 140 degree Celsius, 150 degree Celsius, 160 degree Celsius, 170 degree Celsius. The answer to the question, the temperature drop across the wall will be delta T equal to QL by K. So, calculating 
50 into 0 0.15 divided by 0 0.05 equal to 150 degree Celsius. The answer is 150 degree Celsius. Next question, a refractor lining of a furnace has a thickness of 200 millimeter. The average thermal conductivity of the refractor material is 0 0.04 watts per meter Kelvin. The heat flow is estimated to be 180 kilojoules per hour per meter square. The temperature difference across the lining will be 280 degree Celsius, 250 degree Celsius, 240 degree Celsius and 220 degree Celsius. We calculate the uh, uh, temperature drop. The heat transfer Q is given as 180 kilojoules per hour per meter square. So, calculating it is converting into SI unit, it is 50 joules per second per meter square. The temperature drop across the wall will be delta T equal to QL by K. 50 into 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.04 equal to 250 degree Celsius. The answer is option B, 250 degree Celsius. Next question, a wire of 8 millimeter diameter at a temperature of 60 degree Celsius is to be insulated by a material of thermal conductivity 0 0.174 watts per meter Kelvin. The heat transfer coefficient on outside HCI equal to 8 watts per meter square Kelvin and the ambient temperature is 25 degree Celsius. The maximum thickness of insulation for maximum heat loss will be 15.25 millimeter, 16.5 millimeter, 17.75 millimeter. 17.25 millimeter. So, the critical radius of insulation, we calculate the critical radius of insulation. So, this is Rc equal to K by H, it is 0 0.174 divided by 8 equal to 0 0.02175 meter, which is 21.75 millimeter. So, the critical thickness of insulation T equal to Rc minus R, 21.75 minus 4 millimeter, radius equal to 4 millimeter, which is 17.75 millimeter. The answer is 17.75 millimeter. Next question, what is the critical radius of insulation of asbestos of thermal conductivity 0 0.17 watts per meter Kelvin surrounding a circular pipe and exposed to a room temperature, room air at 20 degree Celsius with a heat transfer coefficient 3 watts per meter square Kelvin. The answers are 7.21 centime centimeter, 6.37 centimeter. 5.67 centimeter, 6.93 centimeter. We calculate the critical radius of insulation. So, Rc equal to K by H equal to 0 0.17 divided by 3, which is 0 0.0567 meter, which is 5.67 centimeter. So, the answer is 5.67 centimeter. The next question, an insulating material with thermal conductivity of K equal to 0 0.12 watts per meter Kelvin is used for a pipe carrying steam. The local heat transfer coefficient to the surrounding is 4 watts per meter square Kelvin. In order to provide effective insulation, the minimum outer diameter of the pipe should be 45 millimeter, 60 millimeter, 75 millimeter, 90 millimeter. The critical radius of insulation, we calculate the critical radius of insulation, Rc equal to K by H, which is 0 0.12 divided by 4 equal to 0 0.03 meter with 30 millimeter. The minimum outer diameter of the for effective insulation. So, the radius we calculated, we calculated the diameter two times of the radi radius which is 60 millimeter. So, the answer is option B 60 millimeter. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have published in mechanical engineering subject and I upload the video lectures of all the subject in the YouTube channel. You subscribe the channel learn the subject in a better way. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. So, you can contact me for any clarification on the subject. So, we will meet again with another video lecture uh, in the heat transfer from the UPSC engineering service examination. Until then, bye.